Players will need to shield the ball when they are closely marked by an opponent and they need to maintain possession of the ball as there is no open space to run into or there is no supporting teammates to pass to. This happens commonly in a game when a player is dribbling down the sideline, heavily marked in the field or receiving a pass. Now let's take a look at coaching this technique step by step. Step 1. Position the body between the opponent and the ball with your arms out to increase the distance from the opponent. Try to stand side on and lean into the player with arms up. Step 2. Dribble the ball keeping it as far away from the opponent as possible. It's best to use different parts of the foot such as the outside or the sole of the foot to maintain distance of the ball from the opponent. Step 3. Keep the head up while dribbling until a teammate makes themselves available to pass to or use body feints to lose the opponent. Now let's take a look at how to demonstrate this skill to your young players. Now let's take a look at some common mistakes that young players make when performing this technique and solutions on how to fix them. Common mistake number one is that the player lets the opponent come right in and steal the ball because they don't put their arms up to keep them at bay. The player must bring their arms up to keep the distance between the opponent and the ball. This way the opponent can't reach or steal the ball. Common mistake number two is that the player gets knocked off the ball by the opponent because they are standing too tall while shielding the ball and have little balance. In order to stay balanced while shielding, bend the legs, stay in a crouched position and lean into the opponent.